Well, I think open access is uh, matters for a lot of reasons. Um, in the big scheme of things, it, it's important for uh, for the distribution of knowledge. If we look at uh, if we look at how quickly science has progressed recently, a lot of that has to do with the availability of scientific research um, for things like the internet and, and so on. And uh, and the more open we make things, the, the the faster things can progress. The faster ideas can be shared. Uh, from a personal point of view. Uh, most of my salary and uh, as well as my research funding uh, ultimately comes from taxpayer dollars and I feel that it's, uh, it's my obligation to, to make the fruits of my labor uh, as widely accessible to those people as possible. I publish all of my work on an open access preprint server, uh, the archive hosted by Cornell University. Uh, I also uh, have written an undergraduate textbook, which is uh, an open content textbook, meaning that it's, uh, it's freely available. Uh, as well, I'm the co-founder and uh, co-managing editor of the Open Access uh, Journal of Computational Geometry. Uh, I've benefited from open access by having my work more widely disseminated than it would otherwise be, and more quickly disseminated. There are many occasions where I've received valuable feedback from, from colleagues about my research, uh, and the only reason that I, I was uh, able to receive this so, so quickly is because they had early and open access to it uh, from the, uh, the preprint server. My colleagues' concerns about uh, open access journals are typically to do with reputation. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of uh, companies have jumped on the open access bandwagon trying to make a quick dollar by uh, publishing what are essentially vanity, uh, vanity articles. And uh, well, this is nothing new. There have always been vanity presses and low quality journals, whether they're open access or otherwise. And uh, this will be resolved in the same way that it's always been resolved. The people who work in a field know what the good journals are, know what the reputable journals are, and, uh, and so that these things sort of work themselves out, that uh, eventually uh, those journals will disappear, the bad ones and the, the good ones will stay active.